Hey, what up you guys? It's Danny B. You're watching the Trash Dash, and this is going to be my video for uh, week three of my October. I don't feel like doing a whole live stream today, so I'm just going to go through seven recommendations. Um, first up, we got What Doesn't Kill You, which is an Irish Boston mom movie about these, um, I think they're bank robbers. Yeah, they're bank robbers, but they also do like odd jobs for the mob and stuff. Based on a true story, I think. Really good one. Hot Boys, which was a uh, No Limit movie. Uh, starring Silk the Shocker. Snoop Dogg's in it. They make him look like the star, but really he's just kind of a supporting role. Uh, Gary Busey's in this one. This was probably like the best No Limit movie. This was on um, UPN Network back in the day a lot. Uh, been a while since I watched this one, but I picked this one up. Alright, next up we got Violent City. Charles Bronson is a mob hitman. Um, it's an okay movie. It's more, I think Jill Ireland really steals the show in this movie more than even Bronson, which is kind of rare. Telly Savalas is in it. I love Telly Savalas. You know, they were in the Dirty Dozen together. Uh, Violent City, worth checking out. And uh, next up we got Blow, classic, uh, Johnny Depp movie where he's a coke dealer. Starring, uh, I mean, um, playing, uh, George Young. Uh, you know, Ray Liotta's in this, P Paul Rubens is in this, Penelope Cruz, classic one, probably a lot of people have known this one. Um, next up we got The Town with uh, Ben Affleck, you know, bank robber movie. I think this is, um, they must have got inspiration from this one. This one came out, I think, a year or maybe two years before The Town. And this is at almost like, kind of like the same plot, although this is a, also a uh, true story. But, yeah. This must happen a lot in Boston, bank robbers and stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's a good one. I saw that in theaters. I love that one. All right, next up we got Raw Deal, Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, action movie where he goes undercover to infiltrate the mob. He's like a policeman. Um, yeah, if you like Cadillacs, this has the most Cadillacs ever in a movie. I swear to Christ. And then um, he's the only other car is like I think he's driving a Buick, uh, like a Buick Riviera. Riviera. Uh, convertible at the end. Yeah, good one. Underrated Arnold movie, too. And then last up, we got the Jerky Boys classic, uh, classic comedy. Um, you know, <laughs> it's got a lot of people from The Sopranos in this. Uh, right there, uh, Big Pussies in it. And then it's also got, um, Alan Arkin, who really is great in this. These guys were so funny. Their prank calls, I still listen to them to this day, and then, especially this guy right here is fucking hilarious. And, yeah, good movie. Uh, I don't know if it's as funny as their phone calls, but still a funny one. Uh, lots of good, like, you know. It's worth, oh, if, if you don't know what this is about, they prank call the mob, and then, like, um, they're trying to get, like, free stuff, like free meals and free restaurants and stuff, but then it turns into this whole plot where the FBI is looking for Frank Rizzo and stuff. Funny movie. Jerky Boys, a lot of people forget this one. All right, so, yeah. So that's uh, my seven recommendations for Mobtober Week 3. Hope everyone's having a good October. I'm much more of in a horror movie mood this year. Um, it, fe it really feels like Halloween out here this year. Last The last uh, five years, it really didn't feel like Halloween at all out here. So, yeah. All right, guys. This is Danny B. You're watching The Trash Dish. Let me know if you've seen um, any of these. Let me know what your favorite one is. Hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.